Why would it go up that much? Call Curtis goes undercover after a viewer claimed Kohl's is marking up prices before marking them down. And so Curtis Ming joins us now with uh, his hidden camera investigation. Yeah, we're talking about Kohl's here. They seem to always have sales going on, but what one viewer found raises the question, is Kohl's raising prices to make its sales seem better? Big sales. I love it. Low prices. Buy one, get one 50% off. But are coal sales prices? Why would it go up that much? Always as good as they seem? Wow, I'm in shock to see that. It really surprised me. Surprised because Patty Woody came home thinking getting half off $209.99 on these high thread count sheets from Kohl's was a good deal. But then inside the packaging, she found this price tag, $169.99, 40 bucks cheaper than the outside sticker. So, did she really get half off? You know, you always look at packaging in the stores and you expect to see the price tag stuck on top of another one is a cheaper price. And actually, it was more expensive. She now suspects Kohl's may be marking up prices before marking them down, making sales seem bigger. This is just not right. So our hidden cameras went inside several Kohl's stores. We checked the printed price tags on some items currently on sale and found clothes, luggage, kitchen, bath, and bedding products, 15 items in all marked up, some as much as $100. In this case, it's a price tag on top of a price tag. Other items have different price tags on different areas of the product. This twin sheet set on sale for 50% off $89.99. But look on the cardboard inside the plastic. The price tag here shows $49.99. Do the math. The current sale is only $5 savings from the original tag. Well, that's not so hot. And this skillet, the display shows it's on sale for $34.99. The sticker says the regular price is $39.99. But underneath that sticker, you could see it was once marked $29.99. That means the current price on sale is $5 more than the originally marked price. It's kind of stupid. I think it's a pretty good trick to get us. We don't know exactly when the prices were raised, but consumer attorney Stuart Talley thinks if Kohl's is marking up prices to mark them down, they are breaking California state law, which bans companies from making false or misleading statements about the amounts of price reductions. That's illegal in California. You just can't do it. Our producer wanted to see what would happen if you challenged the the price at the counter. These sheets on sale for 30% off the sticker price of $149.99 rang up $104.99. But let's go back to the marked price because inside the packaging we find this tag for $89.99, $15 cheaper than the current price on sale. This thing actually says $89. Can I get 30% off of that? The clerk calls over a manager and he agrees to give us the discount off the $89.99. You can do that? When our producer questions the price change, why would it go up that much? Listen carefully. The manager admits they sometimes mark up prices before certain sales. Sometimes when we do like to scratch up the market. Yeah. Oh, really? If you mark stuff up, it's, it's a scratch off or something like that? When we reached out to Kohl's, they denied any wrongdoing, saying Kohl's does not raise off sale prices on a short term basis just for purposes of a future sales event. As is common in the retail industry, from time to time, product prices are increased due to production and raw material cost increases. They claim the price of Patty Woody sheets went up because of the rising cost of cotton. <laughs> And Coles admits the prices on the 15 items we found marked up were raised in the late summer or early fall, well before the current sale. And no excuses, just flat out no excuses. It's a bad move. Harry Friedman consults retailers around the world how to maximize profits while maintaining strong customer service. He doesn't buy Coles' explanation for the markups ahead of sales, thinking they're playing a game to make up for shrinking profits in this economy. I don't know that it's malicious. They're just trying to stay in business, but um, it's a bad Bad practice. 50% off sounds really great. But now, Patty and other customers are not so sure they could believe a coal sale when they see one. Well, now I'm going to check everything. Well, the National Retail Federation would not comment on our investigation, only saying pricing strategies are all very proprietary. Mm. So this is going to make us look closely, but can stores put higher price tags on top of price tags? There's no, no law out there that says that they can. Kohl's tells us when they raise prices, they tell their stores to re-ticket inventory to match the prices of the new stuff that is coming in. Is there any trick here? I mean, how do you know if a store might be doing this? Well, I mean, you could look for different price tags. I mean, mm. right here on this, there's a price tag on the outside, but then you just 
unzip it. And inside here, you can see there's another price tag, which is much lower. And that's the original price tag, the one inside. That's Presumably. the original. That's what we're thinking. But there's also these uh, cell phone apps that scan barcodes. So if you're in a store, why don't you scan the barcode, see what other stores are selling the product for. Uh, the only thing that you have to look out for is some stores have things that are just sold in that store uh, that are made specifically for Kohl's or the other store, so you're unable to check those with other stores. Seems like a lot of work to go through. It is. It is. Yeah, but you want the best deals, yes, and that's I know. the you're problem. Right. So right. I mean, right. and that's a big. I mean, right there, I'm looking at big difference. A, a big difference. Yeah, yeah we so. got a, a sixty dollar difference here. So mm -hmm. look around. There might be a couple price tags on there. Uh, what do you think of our investigation? Have you noticed any stores marking up prices before marking them down? You could share your thoughts on the Call Curtis Facebook page.